the channel. It's a girl, Lissy. And this is my Brussels Griffin Angel. Smash a like on today's video if you guys agree she is the cutest griff you guys have ever seen. Anyways, guys, as you guys know, it is almost Christmas time. And I do videos about weird, unusual, nostalgic, scary, and haunted stuff. And I also do a lot of videos about animatronics. And recently, I have come across probably one of the most terrifying Christmas animatronics of all time that actually traumatized me when I saw it. So you guys know Tracy the Tree from Rainforest Cafe, right? Well, Tracy has a long lost distant, distant cousin who apparently is not just a regular tree or a rainforest tree, but a Christmas tree. So this is gonna get spicy, guys. The tea is hot. Also, I wanna say if you guys haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. I post videos every single Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I don't want you guys to miss out on it. But we're gonna be talking about one of the world's most terrifying animatronic trees that I have ever seen outside side of Tracy the Tree, which I've also made a whole video on. If you guys want to check out, it's linked down below. But this weird, creepy, horrifying Christmas tree is called Woody the Tree. Not Woody from Toy Story, Woody the Tree. So Woody, a giant tree with a robotic face, can be found in Micmac Mall. What kind of name is Micmac Mall? <laughs> Sounds like a farm name, I don't know. In Darmouth, Nova Scotia, which is in Canada. Woody is 15 meters, almost 50 feet tall. That is one really big tree. Imagine a 50 foot tall tree with the face on it. Yeah. He's a robotic Christmas tree adorned with hundreds of bulbs, a big smiling face, and animated blinking eyes. And even worse is that he talks. Hi, how are you? Good. Are you six in here? Is there anything you want to talk to me about? Yeah. You guys are gonna literally be shocked when I put the videos in here. He's apparently been a big Christmas tradition for this mall and for Canada since the 1980s. Although it's not really actually clear online when he made his first ever appearance, the mall's previous owner decided not to invite Wake Up Woody back in 2006 and no one had seen him since. Woody actually fell into a mechanical disrepair and his attendants retired him from use about 15 years ago. Now though, he's been brought back to life with a fresh face to reboot. The Micmac Mall manager actually claimed this. He left 15 years ago and then he went to the North Pole to help Santa and the elves sustain the magical forest up in the North Pole until he made his great return. Wake up! that so the kids didn't think like Woody the tree died or anything like that? So you guys might be asking why is this terrifying animatronic tree back all of a sudden? Apparently the Micmac Mall manager Oakley claimed this. It's been a really tough couple of years and he wanted to bring back some magical cheer back to all of his fans. He did not leave she insists because people thought that he was creepy. That's another thing about the tree that a lot of people suspected that that's why they took him out a long time ago and left him gone for 15 years. It was actually horrifying a bunch of the Canadians who went to this mall. Canadians seem to be really split in the middle whether they found this tree display creepy or cute and this tree even made an appearance on the Jimmy Fallon show comparing it to the red light green light doll on Netflix's Squid Game series and I definitely could see the resemblance of the face of the Squid Games doll to the tree and now I can't unsee it. Some people even have gone far enough to say that it looks like James Charles or even the spider from that one kid show which also I don't want to say that I can't see it but you know. The interactive holiday decoration has big lips which move when it speaks and curly eyelashes to the bat. One of the Canadian residents even claimed this about the tree. He lived in North Mile throughout Woody's previous reign of terror. I hated that thing. Especially because I worked at the mall and I was forced to confront it every single day. It also loudly broadcasted conversations with Santa Claus, saying cringeworthy stuff like, Merry Christopher Mimit, Santa McClaws. <laughs> I can't even imagine it saying that. That's so cringe. But some residents have welcomed the return, with locals on social media describing him as a historical monument and a Christmas treasure that must be kept and maintained throughout the years. And of course, this year, this is how I actually found the tree, Woody made a quite striking return back into the mall and he brought a crowd with so many people. <laughs> Like the mall was completely filled, all just to witness the awakening and grand ceremony of Woody the Tree coming back to life. And honestly, I could see where a lot of people wanted to see this, but at the same time, why? <laughs> this thing is so creepy, I don't know why. What do you guys feel about this tree? Do you guys think it's cute? Or do you guys think it's horrifying? I don't really know how to feel about Woody the Tree. I think he's horrifying, um, to say the least, but I could see where it draws some, I don't know, attraction to the mall because it's so weird and so strange that there's a 50 foot tall 
animatronic tree that interacts with everybody, that's just bizarre to me. Even scarier than all that was Woody the Tree's original designs, which I don't know if I pointed this out directly. He had different designs before the last version of Woody that you guys have been seeing and that was completely updated. His original design was terrible and creepy. He basically looked 10 times more cursed than he is now. He had a huge nose, huge lips, creepy eyes, and he just looked, I don't know, horrifying? I don't know! It just, it, yeah, that thing would give me nightmares. And I don't know if this is true or not, but I believe the first version, if this is true, I cannot tell, might have been a brown Woody, um, where he just was a talking tree with dimples. I do not know, can't confirm this, I'm just looking at the history of Woody on a document I found on a Reddit form. I don't know, but if so, he's made a lot of changes in his appearance. And I do want to talk about another tree now that we've covered the Woody the tree situation. I found another really creepy animatronic tree that I thought we'd have to bring up in today's video as well because I feel like it needs some recognition. This is the Douglas fir. This toy originated from 1996 into 2001 for the original versions and 2007 to 2008 for the remix and I do believe they are still selling today on Amazon perhaps or other websites or just maybe being resold. Douglas fir is a classic animated Christmas decoration originally made in 1996 to 2001. He has the appearance of a realistic Christmas tree wearing a Santa hat on top and he is motion and sound activated. And let me tell you when I saw the first clip of this tree I was like oh it's just a tree and then all of a sudden a face emerges out of the soul of the inside of this tree? From where, why, what, how? I have so many questions. It's terrifying. When activated, his glowing eyes will open and his mouth will talk as he sings Christmas carols to whoever interacts with him. <laughs> ah, this thing actually creeps me out so much. What the heck were they thinking with this? So the original version actually sang Jingle Bells and there was a different version that sang Jingle Bells with a really deep voice, which I think is a little unsettling. And they had versions with higher pitch voices singing Jingle Bells. And they even made a female version of this tree called Penelope Pine, a female tree with earrings and a bow that sings the Jingle Bell Rock while dancing. And they didn't stop there, they even made a singing and talking Christmas wreath. This one was called Douglas Fir the Talking Reef, a Christmas wreath with a red bow that sings up on the housetop and deck the halls. And they made another another female tree called Connie Fir, who has a red bow that sings Jingle Bells, deck the halls, and we wish you a Merry Christmas. And they even made a singing reindeer. They didn't stop, they were just like, let's make the whole Christmas family. And I think they made a lot of other ones, but I just wanted to show showcase those ones because they were Christmassy. To be honest, if I just walked into someone's house and I saw that tree and I was like, oh, it's just a little Christmas tree, and I didn't know what I was doing and I was just walking somewhere and I set that thing off, I would have a heart attack. <laughs> that would actually traumatize me. Like, I would have not guessed that in a million years that a face would emerge from the bottom of that tree. I can't be the only one who finds these cursed little things traumatizing, right? Like, y'all y'all see what I'm saying, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Um, uh, maybe I'll have to buy one for a video. Let me know if you guys want me to buy one of those trees. If I can find one, I will buy it for you guys and do a little unboxing, you know, a little review. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video, but before today's video ends, I have a very special gift for anybody who stayed to the end of today's video. I am giving away one of Angel's calendars. I actually made my dog a holiday seasonal calendar, and there's so many cute pictures of her. Her is a rainbow. Her with some bubbles, and every season has a different picture. Look at the Christmas one! And if you guys are trying to win this calendar, all you guys have to do is comment I love Angel in the comments down below and I will be selecting a random winner a week from today and contacting you to claim your prize. If you guys want to purchase one of these, I'll have a link in the description down below because they're a limited edition as well as some new Christmas merch that I just released for the holidays that says Merry Christmas. I'll put them on the screen here. They'll also be linked down below if you guys want to get some Christmas gifts or merch because I know it's the season. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I love you guys all so much and I hope you guys have a great rest your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Bye.